Welcome back to RBD Block Challenge. Today we're working on block number nine. This block was designed by Amanda Niederhauser and it's called Lynx. Now, if you know Amanda, she's a huge cat person and you're gonna have to use a little bit of your imagination to find the cats in here. There's actually four of them. See the cat with the Lynx ears? So that's kind of fun. The block looks complicated, but it's easier than you think to make. Let's get started. Of course, the first thing you need to do is download the pattern from our Riley Blake Designs website. Again, it's called Lynx, and all the materials and the cutting instructions are there for you. I have previously cut out all of my pieces and labeled them. And the first thing we need to do is grab our D and our G blocks. We're going to make a lot of half square triangles. So we are going to mark our white pieces corner to corner. And I previously marked these and that is our sew guide. We're not going to sew on that. We're going to sew using a fourth inch seam allowance on each side of that marked line. So I'm gonna pair these up and I'm gonna chain piece. Again, I don't do a lot of pinning. I, I pair them up and I'm gonna give them a quick press and then take them to the machine and sew. Okay, let's bring it over here and clip our threads. And now that marked line is our cut line. these all pressed at once. Okay, let's bring them back here. And it looks like we need to square them up to two and a half inches. Get my square up ruler. There is a little wiggle room. I kind of, so I only have to cut three sides. I kind of pull it into the corner, lining up that center, pressing down firmly. We'll put these on back here. The next thing we need to do is do some strip piecing. So we're going to take our H and our B block and strip them together. Strip piece those together. Again, I give them a quick press. You just want to make sure you have an accurate fourth inch seam allowance and you're sewing straight. Okay, you bring it back here and we need to put the F block on the other side of the B block. We can give it a quick press, open that up. Put 
put that F back on. Okay, we've just finished that. Let's clean up this little area. Our little scraps. And we need to cut those two and a half by four and a half inch segments. So this should already measure four and a half. So we'll just check it. Yep, that is four and a half. So now we just need to cut that in two and a half inch segments. So I'm going to trim off that. So it's nice and straight. I have a straight edge. I can move this out of the way. I don't need that rotating mat. And double check, two and a half inches. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our block because we've made all our units and now we just need the squares, the remaining squares. So we have this A block, which is the center. It's kind of that bleached denim. That's the center. Now radiating from the center, starting with the white, going out to the medium blue and to the dark blue. That goes just like that. And now we need to make the little cat sections. So we're gonna sew those units together, but first we gotta make sure they're going the right way. So we have the E block, that's kind of the corner, the four corners, so we have that there, a solid dark blue, and then we've got our kind of our mink's ears. So make sure they're going the right direction and, a, and they're facing towards each other. So the triangle is facing in. And then we've got this C block. So that goes around just like that. And again, just make sure your half square triangles are facing the right direction. The triangle is facing inward. And we are ready to assemble these four units before we put our entire block together. So I'm going to just show you how to do one block. Save us time. I go right sides together and I pin it where I'm going to start my sewing. And again, I would do all of these at once and chain piece them. I'm going to do this little one unit by itself. Okay, bring it over here. Again, just double check that your cat ears are facing each other. And you can't, you're gonna press them opposite. So there has been some comments of, you wanted to see more pressing, how I press my blocks together. So I am gonna spend a little time on showing you how I press my blocks together. So I'll bring that over here so you can see better. I'm gonna nest those seams just like that. Put a pin in the middle. Now you can pin your outside edges. I tend not to. I'm just gonna take it and sew this. It's kind of like a little four patch.
Now, there is some bulk here and you could press it to one side and call it good, but you're trying to get your block to lay as flat as possible. So again, I'm not a big fan of opening up my seams, but I am just going to open up this little center section. And I'm going to flip them opposite. So that's going to, even though I already pressed it one way, it was helpful to sew it that way, I'm going to press it again, opening up. So I'm going to flip one seam. And the threads just kind of open up slightly. I just kind of unpick them ever so slightly, coax it open. And I'm not opening up my seams, but I'm laying this center section flat. So I press this going that direction and this is going this direction. You see how I kind of worked that? And then I'm gonna press it again. And it lies very flat. I've already done that on the, my three other sections. I did save time. And again, you can kind of see how I've opened that up you can see it a little bit better. So it lies super flat. So I've got my four sections pressed. This one just doesn't look as pretty as the other one. I think I took a little more care on doing the other ones. So I've got these sections already sewn. So to save time, we're going to put in my units I made previously. And we're ready to assemble the block. See, it's easier than you think. So I don't have any um, seams to line up here because these are a little off-centered. So I can just flip those over just like that. And again, I pin the top where I'm starting my sewing. And let's take it to the machine and sew down that seam. Right, take a look at that. Now before I sew my last two seams, I'm going to press. So I am going to press, there is bulk right here. So I'm gonna press that in. Otherwise it feels too bulky to press it that direction. This I'm pressing in, so this I'm gonna press out. And then this I will press in. So I'm gonna press from the back side. I'm gonna give it a little spritz. I can press. The goal is to have your block as flat as possible. And sometimes, you know, pressing your seams the right direction helps 
in that goal. Again, I'm gonna press in like that. And look how flat that's looking. So now we are really able to nest those seams. So the center section, because they're going the opposite direction. I'm gonna pin on the outside too. All right, let's take a look. All of our points are lining up. Can you see those cute little cats on there? Let's give it a good press. We'll bring it back and square it up. Let's take a look. here. Okay, again, line it up. This is slightly just like a teeny eighth of an inch inside there. So it's slightly pulling in. So I'm going to be tugging that a little bit when I assemble all my blocks, but for the most part, it is very close to being 10 and a half inches. Again, you want to make sure you don't cut off any of your tips. They should be inside the blue line. I'm mainly trimming off threads. Coming back. and then Link's block is finished. I imagine Amanda is gonna use some of her cat prints in her block, but I really like how it turned out in blues. Again, we're so excited that you're following along and sewing along with us. Join us next time for block number 10.